Welcome to floor 10 of episode 6 of Wolfenstein 3D, the secret floor for this episode, and the hardest floor in the entire game. Now I have said that previously for the secret floor of episode 4, but that's mostly because the game just doesn't work properly and all the enemies turn invisible. This is genuinely the biggest challenge for a player in this game. It is an extremely long and extremely difficult level. Now, at the start, we have four paths to choose from. So there's one on the right here with a bamboo, or the plywood, whatever you want to call it. Ahead of us, we have like this slimy cave here. On the left, we have just a traditional rock cave. And behind us, we have this kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it, terracotta brick. Uh, and we also have the locked door here that requires a gold key. That leads to the exit of this level. Now, the path we're going to choose first is down the left-hand side into the cave, and when I open the door, you'll see that there's a Schustoffel at the end. Now, we don't want to shoot at him yet, because that will wake up every enemy in the cave, and there are a lot of them. So instead, I'm gonna just keep luring him towards us, and then hopefully, when he comes through this door, I can kill him, and jam the door open. Now I'm gonna retreat back to just here, and I'm gonna just start picking the enemies off as they come towards us. Now I switched to the machine gun because ammo is a precious commodity in this level. There are so many enemies and simply not enough ammo lying around to use the machine gun to kill them all. So I will be using the machine gun for most of the level. Just getting a bit low, I might need to rush forward to and grab some off the bodies. There is still at least a couple of stuff left. I thought there was more than him. Is that it? I don't trust it. I think that's it. So, now we're in the cave, you can see that there are multiple paths to choose from. We're going to choose the rightmost path, and we'll move around the edge of this area, collecting all the treasure. Just going to go through here quickly. One more bit, there we are. Now we head back to the start. And we're gonna go the left path this time. Stick to the left side, grab this treasure. And around this corner, you'll see we have an extra life here, but we don't wanna pick it up yet. We want that health. We'll pick up the chain gun though, and this final piece of treasure. And head to this door at the end. Now, there are many, many doors into uh, this next room. This is the door you want to choose, though. And the reason for that is because it lets you get the jump on this guy. It's Hans Gross, our old friend. This is the fourth time we've had to deal with him now. Uh, and as long as you're here, he can't, even if he's looking at you, or it looks like he's looking at you, he's actually facing the other direction. So he will see you if you go through any one of these doors except this one. I'm going to grab a few bits of ammo here. Then I'm going to open this door and open the fire on him. Load him this way. I don't want to get stuck on the other side of that door there. And we will start fighting. Now, just like in the Argoth maze, he's a lot more deadly in the tight space of this area. Where are you going? Come on back. Where's he going? Are you scared? Come on. go and once he's dealt with we have the gold key so we can leave the level if we want to and uh, honestly if unless you're going for 100% everything you should leave this level because it's not fun it's just absurdly difficult uh, I will grab you know what I'm actually gonna leave those medikits I don't want to even waste 5% health on this level uh, we're done in the cave now though so we can safely head back to the start and we're going to go this way first, but be careful that you don't push forwards because all of these alcoves here are some enemies we need to deal with. I feel like I have said the word alcoves so many times in this episode. I'm starting to sound like that character from M. Bruges with all his nooks and crannies. Now, in this next room, three doors, all with a guard on the other side of it. We're going to kill the guards as quick as we can because a group of officers is going to rush us from the ends of the corridors here. So we'll deal with these two. Then turn around, deal with these two. Grab some of the ammo off their bodies and head round. And we wanna let them come to us here. I'm just gonna hold this position. Let them stream out from this middle area. Try and grab some of the ammo. And once you think no more are coming, head all the way around 
and approach from this side and that should lure out several more enemies. Should do. There's one, two, three. And I think that could be all of them now. But that's not all the enemies because hiding around this corner is our old friends, the mutant. Now you may remember at the very end of episode two, I did mention that they were present in one more floor and that is unfortunately this floor. Part of what makes this uh, floor so difficult. We're just gonna lure them out bit by bit. You wanna keep your distance because they fire so quickly when they come around the corner. Uh, the closer you are, the worse it is. So you just really wanna take your time. One more coming in. And you may have just caught a glimpse there of a second Tanskros. Oh, go away. Oh, another officer. Oh my god. Okay, more enemies than that. Meant to loot out there. Let's grab some ammo. And that looks like it's clear, so I will pick up uh, some of the ammo. And just like in this uh, previous room, he doesn't spot you. So we're going to take this opportunity to <laughs> grab the uh, treasure and bullets lying around. I don't actually have enough bullets to deal with them, so I'm going to quickly bench track here. Pick up. Uh, well, oh, I've got to remember there's an extra life as well um, at the end of that cave area. Right, this should be plenty now. So, switch to the chain gun. And we'll head back in. Come on. Must be close to death now. There we go. And we have our second gold key. We also have two medikits, neither of which I'm going to pick up. Now, while we are here, because we don't want to get killed right at the end of this level, I am going to clear out the enemies waiting on the opposite side of that door. Let's grab the ammo first. That's all the ammo in this area taken out. Should really switch back to the machine gun. And we'll deal with these guys. Now, there are two mutants. And you want to deal with them like that. Because <laughs> getting killed at the end of this level is, well, an especially unfun thing to happen. So, we are done in two of the four zone in, zones in this map. We're going to head into this next one. And there's going to be two enemies in this first room that we want to kill really quickly before they head through any of the doors uh, in the room. So there's one. There's the other one. And now we can take our pick. So, this door in that corner and those two lead to the same area. That one in this corner and that one behind us lead to the opposite area. And that's where we're going to go first. As soon as we open one of these doors though, the one behind us is going to open uh, and enemies going to get attack us from both sides. So, instead, open this one, shoot that guy in the face and withdraw back to this room. And then you can pick them off as they come to you. Now there are several roaming mutants, officers, guards and shoe stuff in this area. You really actually don't want to have them pin these doors open because it doesn't give you early warning. So there's that guy at the end of the oh wow okay at the end of the corridor here he tries to come towards us. Come on, there you go, got him. Car behind us. Watch out at this corner though. There is another shoe stuff. Check that no one's coming up behind us. Around this corner, there should be. He must be awake already. Oh my god, there he is. Okay, so I think this area is pretty much clear now. I'm going to head down the left path. Watch your right-hand side here for a shoe stuffle. Now head behind you for a wee uh, supply area. Grab the ammo. Leave the health. We'll be back there, I'm sure. There's a second shoe stuffle just here. Then turn to the right. Now sometimes... Yeah, there he is. There's a shoe stuffle quite often wandering around this little loop here. Now I'm going to take a path to try and uh, join back up with where we were earlier. There's this crossroads here. We're going to head to the right. Grab the ammo. Oh, that was wasteful actually, but never mind. And then we're back here. 
you'll turn it path, loop around to the left. We could, So we went right when we could have gone left. Here we are back at the crossroads, but we're not going to go either of those directions. We're going to head back. This is where we killed that shoe stuffle. Continue heading back. The two shoe stuffle are just there that we killed earlier. So we went right last time. Let's go left this time. Another supply chest with ammo and treasure. But more importantly, this vantage point here that lets us kill this mutant from getting a chance to shoot at us. And once all three of those are dead, grab that crown and watch out for a second mutant at the end here. One final enemy to take care of in this area. We are back at the crossroads here from the opposite side and the final enemy is around this corner. Another mutant. So we did that really well actually. We took almost no damage and we still have some more supplies in there that we can go back to if we need to. Uh, now though, I'm going to switch to the chain gun, head into this room, quickly turn to my right, deal with him, and I'll deal with the enemies that are coming behind us. I see a dog running around there. Once you think no more enemies are going to come along, go to the left here, watch out for these officers here. He didn't wake up. Grab the ammo. Watch out at the end here on the left. That guy can do some serious damage when he shoots at close range. I'm worried about guys coming up behind us, so I'm going to loop around here. Oh, I just heard a door open. That's not good. Did I hear a door open? I thought I did. Now, there's another mutant at the end here, and once again, he will ruin your day if he fires close range. I'm going to do a quick loop here, just to... Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. Oh my god, my heart is racing. <laughs> right. Once it's clear... Who the hell are you? Okay. <laughs> this is the way you want to go. I have no idea where in the level that mutant came from, so that's kind of worrying. But... Uh, let's actually grab just a little bit of health. It's close at hand, so not too much of a diversion. I should have been switched to the chain gun after I killed those first few shoes duffel as well. Never mind. Uh, I'm lost. Yes, here we are. We want to go the right path first. Go around the edge here. Ignore this door, and we can sneak up behind this guy. There's the opposite door that goes into that same room. Keep going round. Once you're fully uh, confident that the area is secure, we will go back to the doors. I tend to choose this door as a better angle. And we have a third hands goes to take care of. Now, this is thankfully the final hands goes of the level we have to deal with. Oh, I got stuck on the corner. That can happen, and that's what makes such a tight area especially dangerous to fight these guys. Because they kill you so quickly. Stuck in the corner. Can be faith, uh, fatal. Faithful? <laughs> anyway, that's all the hands ghost dealt with. That is the uh, sixth time we've had to kill that guy. Grab the, uh, the ammo there. Grab the treasure. And activate this third secret. We are now done in the third part of this map. So I have two extra lives here and I have one earlier in the map. I need to make sure that I grab those extra lives at the end of the level. Because if I forget, I have to redo it again. Oh god. Actually, let's check. Did I actually... Oh, well, never mind. We'll go back there later. So, this area, the hardest part of the level. First of all, this tiny alcove has a secret. And it has two medikits, both of which I'm going to grab. Even if it is wasteful, I want every bit of health I can get. The second secret in this area is behind us. And this has a chain gun. I might as well grab that too. Once you go down one of these paths and start shooting enemies, all the other paths uh, will be alerted and they'll start roaming around. And as you can see, this area here is full of these vines which obscure your vision and makes it hard to see and you, because it's such tight close quarters as well the mutants in the zone will just 
destroy you. So I'm going to quickly go through this area as quick as I can. Deal with your mutants. Turn around, make sure they're not behind me. Get to the end here. Oh, there's two more at the end. Watch out for them. Now turn around. I want to get back out of this zone as quick as I can. Right, and now once I'm here, I have a much better angle to take care of the enemies as they come towards me. If that door opens in the middle, I might retreat around the corner just in case. Okay, there is a few officers as well as the mutants, but it's mostly mutants. What would be really good is if you could kill the enemies and keep these doors open, but uh, it's too much of a risk really. Go away. If you want to keep your ears open. There are so many more mutants roaming around in these areas. I don't want to deal with them just now. Let's go back and grab that first extra life before we go any further. So, there are two more extra lives I still need to grab. I've got all the ammo in this room. There are medikits I can go back to. And this is where we start to see ammo uh, being so scarce. Now, I'm going to take the rightmost right path. It seems to be impossible to seem to be struggling to say those words today. Oh, I do not like this at all. I want to switch to the chain gun, actually. I just, I just don't trust the machine gun to respond quick enough to these mutants. Let's go right. So I'm very worried. Oh my god, about that happening. I'm not taking any chances in this zone. I will go back for a second extra life now. It is just not worth it. This is the third take I've done in this level. Right, we are fully stocked on health and ammo. We have more ammo there that we can go back to. as well as plenty of other med packs so we're okay but yeah it doesn't matter if we take damage we just need to make sure that we don't take so much that we die before we have a chance to respond i can just have the door open as well that's troubling oh i do not like this at all Okay, let's move on. Another thing you really don't want to happen is miss one of the many crowns that are... Okay, <laughs> just take a deep breath. Yeah, miss one of the many crowns that are dotted around this area because that would result in us having to go through it yet again. Now I'm getting confused as to where I am. goes to the door yep okay we're fine i think we have got most of the mutants now this should go to the door again and here's the final door but we're not done in this zone yet because i so easily missed that one there i was just about to backtrack because i went past the way i was supposed to go this way And another door. Here is one of the hardest parts of the level. I'm going to stand here in the doorway and let the mutants come to me. They normally come from the left hand side, rarely from the right, but you do need to watch out for that. Keep this distance here so they don't kill you so fast. I'm about to move in, but there are still several guys on the left that are going to be at very close range if I move around that corner. Okay, that should be most of them now. But not all of them. 1% health. Oh my god, get me out of this area. There's more mutants as well. Don't think that was all of them.
there's a mutant down there on the right who waits for you. Whoa, okay. Apparently he saw us through like the tiniest gap there. I think this could be it. Come on, don't die now. Chain gun. I'm <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> okay, we are done. And in every sense but one, we are done with this level, except for the final challenge. Now, if you may, or if you've watched this entire series, you may remember me pointing out uh, that episode three had uh, the secret floor's enemies changed. Now, that enemy makes an appearance here. This is the one place he pops up in the Xbox version of this game. Uh, but before we get there, we are entering a kind of secret maze here. And like the Ardwolf maze, it is impossible, this time by design I think, to activate all the secrets. So, the first choice we have to make is on the left here or on the right. If you press this right wall, you've ruined your chance of getting the treasure at the end of the secret. So I'm going to go left, then I'm going to ignore this path on the right, and go left again. And now I have three ways to go. I will not go left a third time. I've got two paths on the right here. I don't want to go right, I want to go left. So, press this one. And you'll see there's a dead end here. And again, I've got two paths to choose from. Don't want to go right, I want to go left. As you may remember. So now I'm going to push that guy there. That guy, that block. And at the end here we have uh, a door. But I'm not going to go through the door yet. Instead, I'm going to go back to this area. There's a secret wall here, but we are not going to press it. We're going to go around to this corner. Press it back, which blocks off that secret. So I can no longer press it, but that's all right. We want to go to the end here. Press this one. And now we want to press this one. This was another uh, secret that we pressed earlier. Now we're heading backwards. Uh, oh, it's this one here we want to press. And this should give us a path back to, uh, well, the way out. And we press this out. Should go back. And here's where we came in. But at the end as well is some extra lives. So I'm going to collect all of those. And we're going to head back to the door. There is one final secret, and that's just here. We're going to wait, though, because we don't want to activate that secret until we're ready for it. That will block off this entire area. Now, the reason we want to block it off is because the final enemy cannot be killed. He is invincible, and here he is through this door. He's going to rush at us as soon as we open it. We want to dart through him, grab the treasure on the other side, then dart through him again, turn around, and press this final secret, and we are done with floor 10 of episode 6. I'm so relieved. This is such a massive challenge, this level. My heart is still racing from going through the corridors with all the mutants. And now I'm just trying to remember uh, what else I have to do. I need to grab the extra lives. I think there's only one extra life remaining, and that is uh, I've gone the wrong way at the end here. Oh, I just need to take a deep breath. Here it is, the final extra life. We should be done in this level. Of course, there's no way of knowing whether you uh, got everything, because just like all the other secret levels, it doesn't show you your score. But I am fairly confident we got all the treasure. Uh, it is impossible to get all the kills because of the Pac-Man ghost. It cannot be killed. Uh, I am saving here. Yep, definitely. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, and we can't get all the secrets because there are some secrets in that zone that uh, in order to get to the extra lives at the end, you need to uh, well, press block off certain secrets. But that is it. That is the end of the final secret level of the Nocturnal Missions. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at 2 o'clock tomorrow for Floor 4 of Episode 6.